in this patient you can observe that there is complete ptosis on the left side whenever there is ptosis you should immediately observe the pupil in this patient you can see that there is midriasis dilated pupil when compared to right side so the thumb rule is that whenever there is ptosis with midriasis it is suggestive of third nerve palsy oculomotor nerve palsy and whenever there is ptosis with meiosis that is constricted pupil it is suggestive of horner's syndrome horner syndrome occurs due to loss of sympathetic supply to the head and neck area the lesion can be anywhere from the hypothalamus down to the spinal cord cervical spinal cord and cervical sympathetic chain it has got five components i have already told two components ptosis and meiosis both are ipsilateral what are the other components you just mentioned in the comment box